Hey everybody, it's me, Nurse Lastly, the Beauty on Duty. Today I'm going to share with you my note-taking strategies as well as my study techniques. Alright, so I use a system called Survey Q3R. And the Q in the Q3R stands for question, and the three R's stand for read, recite, and review. I use this in a conjunction with the Cornell note-taking strategy. And this is a way of creating your notes in a way that's very easy for reviewing, um, easy for testing yourself, and so forth. So I've made a little example um, about pneumothorax. So see like you're reading a chapter on um, pneumothorax and this is unknown material. First you want to survey the chapter. Kind of just go through and scan the chapter, scan the information. Next you want to question it. What does this information mean? Uh, you find something that you don't know, you're unfamiliar, so write it down here in the margins. Write your questions down. So what exactly is pneumothorax? You want to go ahead and read the chapter and then answer your questions here in the space provided on your notebook paper. So what is pneumothorax? It's a collapsed lung due to um, air pressure or gas that's stuck in the chest cavity and it's uh, creating the uh, pneumothorax condition. Uh, also, what are the signs and symptoms of pneumothorax? Dyspnea, which is um, difficult or painful breathing. You have cyanosis, which is a bluish color to the skin due to insufficient oxygenation. Um, hypotension, which is low blood pressure. Um, chest and shoulder pain, as well as a weak and uh, rapid pulse. So once you've answered your questions, you've read the chapter, um, then recite the information. Teach it to your kids. Teach it to your boyfriend or your husband or your wife or your girlfriend. Teach it to your dog or your cat. Um, it helps to reinforce the information. It helps for you to retain the information. Review it, and this note-taking strategy is awesome for studying. Once you've done the Survey Q3R and you've reviewed with the Cornell note-taking strategy, you don't have to cram. You don't have to spend six to 10 hours a day studying. Once you've seen it, you've smelled it, you taste it, you do it, you touch it. You know, you use all your senses for learning and review it. It helps you to retain the information. I'm telling you the truth. It works, it works, it works. Read the learning objectives in the beginning of your chapter. That way you know what to look out for in the chapter. You know what information is really important. I love to highlight. In fact, I just bought new highlighters. I used to have a five pack. Now I have a eight pack <laughs> and I love it. I love highlighting the information because once I go back through and read the information um, that has been highlighted, I know that this is something I'm going to have to review later on. So, um, and actually, you know, it's funny because my husband, I teach him things all the time as far as, you know, what I learned in nursing school. My mom, I teach her things that I learned in nursing school. And it's not necessarily just to teach them the information. It's helping me to learn and retain the information. But I always say, you know, we're all going to be nurses by the time I graduate because I'm teaching them everything that I know. Um, and another thing, like I, when I'm studying in the bed, Sometimes while I'm reading, I'll kind of just read it out loud, but I don't want to read it so loud that it's disturbing anyone. So, you know, it gets to be really annoying. So maybe if you want to read it out loud, just read it, you know, off somewhere else at the library or where there's no one around. So I hope these tips help. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to rate and subscribe and leave comments. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you.